course, you're watching SoCal Discussions. All right, so hi, how are you doing today? Good, and yourself? I'm doing great, I'm doing great. Uh, how did we just meet right now? Uh, we just met by you coming up to me, ask, well, asking me if I wanted to come out in your YouTube video, you know, but you explained to me what was the purpose of your, use, of your reason why. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And so what were the three, I gave you three like, topics, do you remember what those topics were? I know one has to do with mental, something mental health, with mental yeah. health. Uh -huh. The other two, I don't remember. Okay, you're yeah. talking about the subject of feet, mental health, reflexology. Mental okay. health, feet, and uh -huh. what was reflexology. Reflexology. Reflex Okay, um, so in terms of when you hear feet, what do you think about? First thing goes to your mind. Feet, well, every human being, what they have on their on their feet, on okay. what you know, that's cool, what cool. I think about, yeah. All right, nice. All right, so we're going to ask you some questions in regards to that. Just in the moment, whenever I ask those questions, just feel free to answer however you want. Okay. Uh -huh. What about mental health? When you hear that, is there anything that comes to mind, anything you think about immediately? Yeah, so for mental health, I mean, there's a lot that comes with mental health, like yeah. psychology, how we feel, our attitude towards things, um, the way we act also comes into the, like in our mental health. There's just I feel like there's just so much into the mental health that like that word yeah. that uh, you know we think about a lot. And then, like for example, mental health, like feelings, the way we feel, like it's every day, like all that, mm -hmm. or like the way, honestly, or the way we act mm -hmm. affects our mental health yeah. too. So, like, say we we could probably be like depressed. Yeah. If obviously our mental health is not going to be in good condition, Absolutely. or if we're in a positive like mindset, then our mental health is always going to be good, and we're going to have good things coming towards us. You know, it, honestly, I feel like mental health is a good, it's a very important thing in our yeah. life. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So today we're going to talk a little bit about social media, the impacts it can have on depression and anxiety. Just when we get there, you can feel free to give your uh -huh. thoughts. Um, and then lastly, reflexology, when you heard that, like, does it sound familiar? Do no, I is? honestly haven't heard of that. <laughs> yeah, it kind of runs like probably like psychology, Okay, but I, I, I bet you know what it is. You just the term you probably don't recognize. No, it. I don't recognize so it. So yeah. when I give you the information, you're probably be like, okay, yeah, I know what that is. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh -huh. So let's start with the first question. Are you ready to go? Yeah. All right, cool. So first question is, what are your thoughts about how the world is starting to become more aware of mental health and what we're doing about? It? How do you feel about that? I feel. I mean, honestly, I don't know if the world is really okay. like you know like focusing yeah, on yeah. mental health because I mean. I just okay. This is tricky. Well, it's not tricky, but you know. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the world does it does and it doesn't focus on mental health because I mean, there's a lot of stuff. Well, a lot of people, a lot of people that go through stuff, and yeah. sometimes we reach out for the help, but sometimes people don't like see it that way, yeah. and they um, think of something. Oh, like oh, she's probably just crazy. Oh, she's just sad. Like you know, and honestly, that affects the person because like the person's actually reaching out for help, but in reality, we really don't see it. Yeah. Like I could kind of put it, or sometimes like they reach out and we try to help, but it also depends on the person. Yeah. So, so true. you know, yeah. And it's interesting because like you mentioned that um, about a week ago, um, I was going, I was heading to the gym. I stopped at Ross for a little while to like do some shopping, mm -hmm. and I noticed this lady who was like walking down the strip but she's like only wearing a shirt and like socks mm -hmm. and i'm like but she's like looking back behind her like there's something going on so like i like stopped and like hey are you okay like is everything yeah. good do you, like do you need anything yeah and she was like yeah hey i need some pants and i need you know some food if you can get it for me and i like you know me to stop what i was doing just to like help her out because i was yeah. like she looked like she was in need right yeah. and so um i think just like you know those types of things that you're saying, not like just taking it like, oh, well, like seeing the person, like, oh, that person's crazy. And, yeah. Like, why are they doing this? Like trying to actually like reach out and lend a hand. Like, yeah. It's definitely effective. Um, in terms of social media, first of all, what are your thoughts about social media? And then how do you yourself use social media? I mean, okay, social media, I feel like it could be a distraction, but then it's mm -hmm. also a place where people use it for many other things yeah. to like in a positive way, you know? Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people use it for like a negative way and a positive way, but I mean, it all depends on the person too. Like, you know, uh, honestly, social media, I feel like it has has a huge impact on many people only because for example, like body shame, like, you know, a lot yeah. of these models, like, you know, we want to be like them. We want to like be skinny or like we look at ourselves yeah. and we're like, oh, like that's who I want to be. But it's just like, you know, in reality, like all these models, like, you know, who knows what they really go through. Like yeah. 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 So, you know, man, sometimes like in a positive way, like these 
people use social media to yeah. grow like their business yeah. and nowadays the whole covid that's where everyone goes towards now they're like social media to grow and put their business out there to help you know get money somehow so yeah i mean i use social media just to post pictures of me like of everyday life or like what am i doing and stuff like that yeah yeah and uh, you know like a lot of like kind of what you're saying uh, the positive side of businesses like focus on your business the mental health like advocacy that we're starting yeah. to see from people like you know being able to be like uh almost like conduits for other people mm -hmm. like to be able to like help them out uh so i definitely think that that's those are some cool things that's yeah happening with you. absolutely um in terms of social media like a follow-up question for what i just yeah. said let's say somebody came to you and they were like hey i'm gonna give you the power to change something about it is there anything you would change do you feel like it's okay the way it is or do you feel like people need to change the way that they use it and the way they do it how do you feel about that mm -hmm. When it comes to that, I feel like there is things that could be changed in the yeah. social media, like area section. But uh, I would have to really think about it. Like yeah. I would really have to think about what would really have to change because I have haven't had asked that question. That's cool. That's not, actually um, that might be something you can go home and like talk to your boyfriend about. Like, hey, if you you had it, and you guys can discuss it together. Maybe you know? yeah. Maybe it's not a question for yeah, now. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Maybe for later on, absolutely. Uh, Just kind of get trying to get those wheels turning. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of kind of really thinking, like you know. Right. But I know there's definitely many things that yeah. could be changed in the social media, like yeah. like you know, world right there. Absolutely. But I can't think of it right now. No, that, yeah, and it's all good. Like I'm, I'm my, my whole thing is like trying to start dialogue around it. Like, yeah. People who watch my videos to actually think about those things. No, absolutely. yeah, of course. Um, in terms of uh, anxiety and like with this question, we don't have to go too in depth, maybe more a search, mm -hmm. purpose level answer. Um, in terms of anxiety, like is there anything that brings you anxiety? And if so, like when you feel anxiety happening, what do you do to like counteract the emotions you feel in the moment? Um, I mean, I don't think I have ever experienced anxiety, but I know there's people close for me that I have. Oh, okay. Um, and I mean, the only way that they cope with it is probably just like relaxing themselves trying to like not i feel like it's just it's all in your head i feel like it's just all in your mental health you yeah, know yeah. it's all like the way you think the way you know you probably i feel like uh, i feel like it's just like the over overthinking that yeah, it gets yeah. to people uh so like you know sometimes you just gotta like go for a walk or like you know just calm yourself down so like you won't like yeah, a lot of times like the levels of anxiety can be different. So like things that like some people tend to handle a little bit better, right? So oh, even yeah. you might feel like you said you like I've never felt it before. You might have felt it, but like maybe you just didn't recognize it as it being that. Yeah. And you were probably just like maybe you're more built for like being able to deal with yeah. those situations. Um but I do know that there's some people like for me, for example, uh, large crowds. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm in like crowded space like just like a small room and there's like a lot of people oh of course i start to feel you a lot easier yeah. about that uh -huh. um if i'm like you know in the mall or something everybody spread out i'm kind of cool but mm -hmm. just like a small room a lot of people i'm just kind of like a little bit like uncomfortable with that yeah so. and i feel like this whole like since covid came around i feel like a lot of people had you know really yeah. really bad anxiety especially yeah. like you mentioned like big big, big crowds yeah. and being like in a, like you know a big crowd with a lot of people it's just like it kind of freaks people exactly. out so because exactly. you, know? you never know like now you're thinking about everything yeah about, of course like, oh, uh-huh absolutely okay so let's get into these questions out we're gonna be intrigued to see like what your thoughts are about these questions mm -hmm. okay how do you feel about your feet what are your thoughts about my feet um i mean i have to be honest before i used to be insecure like about my feet Interesting. probably only because i played yeah. sports and you know when people play sports i mean their toes do kind of get a little ugly, yeah, but it's yeah, just yeah. like, I feel like at the end of the day, you shouldn't really care what others think about what, about your feet or exactly. anything, you know, because- We all got them, right? Yeah, okay. we all have feet, like they're all different, you know? Yeah. So at the end of the day, like they're your feet, they're not theirs, you know? So, I mean, now I do show them, I show my toes and everything, like, and I don't think, now I think they're nice. So like yeah, of course, nice. yeah. Um, let me ask you this. Like, has anybody ever given you a compliment about your kids? Anybody ever told you, like, hey, I think you have really nice kids. Has that ever happened to you before? Um, yeah, my boyfriend, I guess. Okay. Yeah. He, like, he told me I got nice. some nice. Or, like, when I get them done, or, like, you know, my friends also, my gr yeah. like, girlfriends, they tell me, oh, like, you have your toes are nice. Like, you know, I was like, That's oh, cool. well, thank you. Which it kind of builds up my confidence. Yeah. So it's You're just kind like. You're already segmenting me into my next question. Like, what are your thoughts? Like, if somebody gives you that compliment, how do you feel about that? Yeah, it kind of just brings up my confidence and it makes me like, damn, like, 
now that I wear sandals, I don't think about it too much. Like I just like, oh, you know, they're just toes, you know. Absolutely. But yeah. Absolutely. Um, in terms of compliments you receive, right? Not just physical compliments, but like compliments in general, right? What type of compliment is like if somebody gives you that compliment, you're like, man, that really makes my day. It makes me feel good. Is there anything like that for you? Yeah, I mean, like I said, like my friends, like when they, well, because I mean, I kind of grew up not having that, like, oh, my dad telling me, oh, like, let's go get your um, your toes done. Yeah. Or my mom telling me, oh, yeah. you know, so I wasn't, I didn't grow up in that, like, yeah. how can I say it? Oh, what's that one? I forgot the word, but it's just like, I didn't grow up like my mom taking me. You, it wasn't, right? yeah, exactly. Yeah. It wasn't a norm for me where my mom would like, oh, let's go get our toes yeah, done yeah. together. Or like, no, like it was just, I had to tell her myself, like, oh, can I get my toes done? Yeah. So I would go and now I kind of do it as a routine. So it's just that's like dope, a self-care man. thing now. So it's just like, yeah, I mean, that kind of, you know. That's dope. That's dope. Um, in terms of pedicures, how often do you get pedicures? I kind of get them like every two weeks, three weeks now. Gel? Yeah, okay. I get them gel now. That's a little bit longer, right? Yeah, it does. Absolutely. It's different. better. I'm mad because my girl, she goes and gets it, and it's always gel. Yeah, Absolutely. I get gel. Absolutely. Nice. In terms of pedicures, when you, um, have you ever heard of a medical pedicure before? Mm, no. I I mean, from what I think it is, it's when they take out, like, you know, all the ingrown toenails and, like, you know, they really clean yeah. them out and stuff like that. So yeah. that is part of it. That's a major part of it. Um, what they also do, so it's, it's going to say for diets, right? Uh-huh. Uh, especially so the foot, they'll take a look at your feet to make sure, like, if your toenails grow correctly. Mm-hmm. Um, they check your toe alignment to make sure it's right. Um, they check your feet for, like, dead skin, and all the work that you do for And, like, this is supposed to be, like, the most cleanest type of, like, experience you can get, like, you talked about. Like, sometimes you've heard stories about people who've gone to, like, a nail shop and, you know, you get a fungus yeah. from it because it's not clean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. like, literally, like, be deep clean there. Uh, and it's also for people, like, sometimes, like, you do wear shoes, but sometimes the shoes are not fit for oh, our yeah. feet. Or, like, so, the way people sweat and then, yeah, right. Exactly. Okay, so yeah. they can, like, tell you, like, give you insight, like, you need these types of, like, orthotics. Or yeah. You need to use this type of lotion or whatever it may yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts on seeing somebody like that who can give you like insight into like what's happening with your feet? Like, hey, this is happening, that's happening. I feel like that's like a, a privilege you have, I guess. Yeah, like yeah. having something like, you know, go and be able to go to some person like that because I know it's not it's not cheap to go to, you know, to go. You'd be surprised. <laughs> uh, I mean, I honestly never heard of a, like, yeah. you know, someone who had went to one, but yeah. I mean, I know like, that's pretty good honestly i wouldn't mind going and like you know to a doctor like telling me like oh what kind of shoes i should be wearing Absolutely. or like you know because i mean that's kind of true because sometimes you know you want to you like the shoe so bad but it doesn't fit but you yeah, yeah. obviously you know you're gonna buy it only because you like Absolutely. it so it's just sometimes like it kind of narrow, yeah do, so yeah. i feel like that kind of affects your toes because you know yeah. so it's just like Absolutely. Yeah. so boyfriend if you're watching this and like, when this comes out Medical pedicure for <laughs> okay, <laughs> absolutely. Um, in terms of uh, shoes, how often you wear like open toe shoes, sandals, flip flops, things like that? Well, I know during the summer I do oh, wear my open toes because it's hot and I let my feet breathe. Yeah. Um, but when I come out of work, or sometimes yeah. like I try to let my um, feet breathe yeah. because you Very know important. I've been having them in like socks and stuff Cramped like that, up, so yeah. I'd rather have them like you know air out and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, but Kind of often when I go home, I just take my shoes off and just yeah. wear sandals and be walking around, like you know. But when it does get cold, I just yeah, have yeah. my socks yeah. on and stuff like that. No, yeah, for sure, it definitely makes sense. <laughs> um, in terms of uh, barefoot, I mean, I I am not gonna lie, I, I am barefoot, but with just socks. Okay. You know, not barefoot completely, but just like with socks on. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, have you ever heard of earthing and grounding before? That no, to? I have not. Okay, yeah. so it's like when you go barefoot in like grass, dirt, sand. Oh, no, I don't feel yeah. comfortable doing that. Really? Yeah, That's, I don't. So, because I get that sometimes. Yeah. What, what is your reason for like feeling uncomfortable in those moments of doing that? I don't know. I just kind of get the the ick, the ick about it. Like, you know, oh, like, you know, there's probably be like an animal that's going to poke my feet or like, you know, I oh, just wow. get kind of like, oh, <laughs> like, you know, so it's just like, no, yeah. I'd rather not. Sand, oh yeah, probably, but I don't really go to the beach, so you oh, know. Okay. Yeah, so you're, but, are you like, more of a like park person instead of the beach? Well, not even to the park. I really don't go to the park oh, either. Interesting. Yeah, so okay. it's just like. Mm-hmm. And so the the whole uh, mentality behind like doing earthing and grounding is like supposed to be like a meditative like purpose. Mm-hmm. So like let's say you had a long day at work, like it was like a really like long and draining day. Mm-hmm. Um, what people would do is like go go out to like grass or just like, just, like stand there. Mm-hmm. And the whole purpose of this is just. 
focus on what you're doing in the moment. Like, you don't focus on, like, hey, my day at work was bad or, like, you know, I got to go cook or nothing like that. Like, your thought process is just, like, man, in this moment right now, like, I feel in this grass, it feels good. Like, you know, you just focus yeah. on that. And so it's even something that you can do in, like, other situations. So we were talking about, like, being in, like, crowded spaces and, like, being anxious in those moments. Mm-hmm. For me, what I do in those moments is start focusing on, like, the things that I, like, I know are around me. So, like, oh, hey, like, this type of music is playing, like, uh, this type of, like, color I see over here, or this, like, and it helps, like, calm you down and bring yeah. you back into a more normal space. Mm-hmm. What would your thoughts be on trying something like that to, like, maybe help you out in those moments when you feel, like, a little overwhelmed or something like I that? I feel like that's, I feel like that's great. Like, I lately been wanting to go, like, to the beach or, like, you know, yeah. just to see sit down and like you know listen to the waves just yeah like just be yeah. like or even just to read a book like honestly like i n- don't mind reading but sometimes i feel like it sounds good like you yeah. know some just going to the beach and like go reading a book or like just sit there and, and just like you're look at the sky. too right? yeah because you go home you're like i got tv here i got tiktok yeah. and like you go to the beach and it's more of a holistic type of approach yeah. to how you feel yeah absolutely so it's very it's peaceful to do that or like even on a high it don't gotta be the beach or like gotta be anything like you know absolutely. like going on a hike or like you know yeah. just walking Sounds around simple. yeah mm-hmm. absolutely all right so now in this moment can we see what your feet look like no i'm shy <laughs> okay you're shy okay cool i'm glad that you actually said that yeah let me give you like the mental health behind like why i started my channel yeah kind of that. Uh-huh. I, want, I want you to hear about this because maybe you haven't have you ever heard of exposure therapy before no so exposure therapy is for, like, let's say in certain situations or scenarios you feel uncomfortable in certain situations, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say you go to theme parks, right? And you're like, hey, I walk around and I'll enjoy myself, but I'll never get on those roller coasters because they freak me out, right? Mm-hmm. What therapists will tell you to do in those situations is go out, right? We'll do that over and over again, right? And what the mentality is supposed to be behind that is like, the more you do it, the more comfortable you're going to become with it, right? Mm-hmm. Not, you won't ever fully get over it. Like, you're always yeah. going to feel that little... You know, gut feeling like, oh man, like I'm a little scared, but eventually you'll learn to be like, well, like what's really happening in this moment? Like, is anything like happening to threaten my life? Is anything threatening my safety? And like, you'll be like, well, no, I got on the right, I came off the right, everything's fine. So, like, what yeah. am I freaking out about, right? Yeah. So, with that mentality approach, like when I heard about that, I was like watching another guy trying to, he was talking about that, like kind of giving information about mm-hmm. that. And I was like, well, that's really dope. Like, in the past, I've overthought every situation, like, I'll be presented with a situation and it's like, you know, you see a pretty girl, you're like, well, should I approach? Should I ask her out? Or should I yeah. just, and you wait too long to where, like, the moment now is it's gone. It's gone, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, like, I was like, man, I want to start a YouTube channel because, like, with the popularity has become with, like, foot models out there. Yeah. I want to start a channel around that mm-hmm. to, like, just interview the average woman who I, like, went into. Mm-hmm. See if she can be comfortable enough in the moment to, like, try some of that exposure therapy just, like, in the moment. Not overthink it. Don't be like, well, damn, like, this might yeah. happen. Just in the <laughs> moment. We're in the moment. Right? Yeah. And so when I go out, I get all these different reactions. I get some women who are like, yeah, absolutely. Like, I, yeah, yeah. Some women who like will overthink it. Some yeah. women are like, nah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> and the whole point of my channel is like show those reactions because those different reactions I get allows me to like show other people like, hey, man, this is how it is out there. Like, you may get any type of reaction to this whatsoever. Um, so I'm trying to like normalize the conversation around that through my interaction yeah. with women. What are your thoughts about that? Kind of like what I'm doing with the channel. How do you feel about that? I feel like it's great honestly i have never really heard about a person you know like going out there and like interviewing persons like you yeah. know like about feet or like you know just mental stuff like in general yeah. about it like i honestly have never heard about that and i feel like it's great yeah. you know going out there because it honestly it really has people thinking like damn i never really thought about it before like yeah. that so you know like it's great like you know and i've met all kinds of women so i've met women who are like completely like you said insecure they have insecurities and yeah. things like that and then after having an interview with me they're like you know what, like after that, I got out of my comfort zone and now I feel a lot better because it's like, now I'm not overthinking everything, right? Yeah. Because sometimes the things in your life that like sometimes you'll overthink just a simple situation, it'll like lead into other areas where you do the same thing and you don't realize it. And yeah. You're like, oh, I'm not going to do this because I don't feel comfortable with it, so I'm just going to stay over here. And it's like, yeah. like what what's really going to happen in that moment? Like, yeah. just like sometimes allow yourself to just go through with it. Uh-huh. So like in this moment right now, is there a way that we can get you to like, Try some of that exposure therapy. Just like see, like in the moment that we're in right now, we can have a great conversation. Yeah. Anyway, we can just continue that. Is that cool? Or? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. All right, let's see what you're. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh I thought you meant yeah, something else. Yeah, I mean, like trying to exposure therapy. Like, is that possible? Oh no, 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 no. Okay, so I'm is shy. it right Is it because have you not had a pedicure in a while? No, I have my feet done. My toes are done. But I don't know. I'm just shy. So let's try <laughs> it. How about this? 
One foot. No. Just saying how you feel in that moment. No? No. Not possible? Mm -hmm. cool. No. I respect it. And it's because you're just like saying that you're a little bit shy about the moment. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I mean. Because like, I'm like, what's really, what's really happening here? Like, we've been having a conversation. Yeah. Um, no, I feel like it's just like, you know, when a person asks me, like, you know, oh, can I see your feet? I'll be like, oh, why? Like, why do you want to see my feet? You know, like, okay. you know, thoughts start. Well, like coming. I said, it's it's for the exposure therapy. Yeah. And, like, I'm going to share my channel with you. There's nothing no, like no, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh -huh. um, how are you feeling so far during the interview? Like, feel good. Feel good? Yeah, okay, feel cool. good talking. Um, let's talk a little bit about reflexology. I'll let you get about it here, okay? Mm -hmm. So, reflexology is all about the different uh, pressure points you have in your hands and your feet, right? Mm -hmm. Those pressure points actually connect to different parts of your body. So, for example, if you like a massage, the acupuncture, the acupressure, you can actually alleviate stress and tension to various parts of your body. So, mm -hmm. let's say, for example, you're somebody who deals with migraines, right? Like the migraines really bad for you. There's actually a portion of your hands and your feet massage that will alleviate the tension between your hands. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a piercing in your ear, it's the same yeah. thing. Um, what are your thoughts about reflexology? What it can do from like a holistic standpoint of like helping you out with like different stresses or strains in your body? How do you feel about it? Mm, you, like massages, right? That's what you're trying to huh? like massages. You're trying to yeah, so yeah. acupuncture, things like that. It's all it's all about like um, applying like these pressure points. So like you're like attacking these or not attacking, but like stimulating like these areas uh -huh. that will like alleviate tension in other areas. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's it's a good thing to yeah. do that. Like massages is a very common one. Yeah. Like you know, a lot of these girls like they go and you know get Manicures their just for that, right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> and go get their massages because you know it feels great because it makes somebody feel well their body Absolutely. it makes their body feel good about it you know like Absolutely. and then when they're done like you know it kind of release like so much tension like that they carry it on yeah nice nice um yeah. uh, so yeah does that sound more familiar have you like do you recognize the term now reflexology or does it no that's new to me that's yeah new to you? Mm -hmm. how often do you get pedicures do you, i mean i mean i'm not pedicures but massages so. honestly i never had one before never had a massage no. well like me Boyfriend. going me going to one like to yeah. a massage place yeah. no but like yeah, like when I when get, get my mom, like, you know, massages me, like when yeah. I, something's hurting, you know, like, oh, mom, massage my feet. Well, or like, boyfriend, if you're watching this again, massage. <laughs> no, he massages me too. No, yeah, yeah he just massages Those too. Those are two ideas. Don't say, but sending you to like a professional person. No, yeah, I always want to try one. Yeah, Absolutely. I heard a lot of good things about them. So, yeah. you know, I'll definitely go with one. Absolutely. So let's wrap up the interview. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of my approach to you, like, what were your thoughts about my approach? Was it good? Was it bad? What did you think about it? I feel like it was good, like, because a lot of people, like, you know, they just come up to you and they don't really explain to you the yeah. reason why they want to interview yeah. or, like, you know, they, or sometimes, or they don't even try to, um, to, like, kind of convince them. Like, a lot yeah. of people just, like, you'd be like, oh, like, I'm trying to interview, can I, like, the person could say no, and they'd be like, oh, okay, like, you know, they don't want to, like, but it's yeah. like, it was good, like, of you coming up to me and explaining the reason why the, yeah. for the interview and the purpose of what you do and stuff like, which was nice. great, you know, so it's just like, yeah. So, um, in terms of the interview right from start to finish, right? Did you see how everything was going in the line? Did it make sense? Did you learn anything new from the information? I, I feel like I learned a lot. Like, you know, okay. there's questions that I had me thinking, you know, like, nice. and I, I'm going to take them home with me and, like, you know, probably even ask my brother. Yeah, nice. You know, because my brother's the type of person, like, you can literally sit down with him and he'll go in deep with, like, you know, and he'll have your question, like, you know. That's dope. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, yeah. That's dope. Um, last thing I always ask from a mental health standpoint, right? A life lesson that you learned, some wise words that maybe somebody shared with you that you could share with my family that could be helpful. Um, I feel like always, you know, like choose yourself first. Like, you know, put yourself first. Like, don't, don't overthink stuff. Like, sometimes just, go, like, you know, just go out there in the world. Like, live your life. Like, do the things that you want to do. Like, you know, just don't have fear in like you know and stuff like you know so it's just like yeah like you know go be you go enjoy life like you know because you only live once so that's good that's good that's yeah. good thank you so much definitely appreciate you stopping into this interview mm -hmm. with us all right and we hope that you have a great one and happy holidays thank okay? you you too all right <laughs>